and welcome back. Today I have the U2 sofa baton. And as you guys know, we've reviewed some of this stuff. It's pretty nice and easy. We're going to set this up on a fire stick to see exactly how it works. Um, yeah, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do leave me a comment below that you're new. Consider to subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Got some good stuff coming here. And as you guys know, always testing and exploring new things. So, yeah, man, I got to say, like, just out of the box... That's how it looks like, super clean. And then right behind it has your batteries. Now there is an instruction guide here, like a little manual and just a little like quick start guide there if you want it. So there you go. And then it does have two, oh, I don't even wanna pronounce that, piss cell. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna, <laughs> I don't know if I, try, if I trust piss cell batteries. So anyway, um, they are going to be AA batteries. So I got some, some of my own here that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put this in. So the second you put this in, it says connect to the Sofa Baton app. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our phone and we're gonna go to the Google Play Store. So here we go, we're gonna go to the phone, typed it in. Now it's gonna be this guy right here. Sofa Baton Smart Remote, we're gonna connect that. Um, this thing still says connect to the Sofa Baton app and it says something went wrong. So just hit try again, maybe it's connecting to the internet and just gonna hit install. So Sof Sofa Baton Smart Remote, pretty simple. And when you're done, go ahead and select open and then log in. If you have, uh, if you have it signed in with down here at the bottom where it says Google, um, or Apple, you could use either of those two options. So we're gonna go ahead and sign in with Google. Or if you don't have an account, right here at the bottom it says, go to register. So whatever it is, that's, that's what you wanna do. So right here at the top, you have your X1, U1, and U2. So we got U2, we're gonna select this one. Um, anytime you get something like this, you wanna hit while using the app right here at the top. And then make sure, Allow so button to find, connect to determine relative position, just hit allow. And then if you want notifications, you could do allow or don't allow. I don't want this sending me any notifications. So I'm gonna put don't allow. So from here, it says to push the bottom two buttons down here. So that's the minus and the E. Hold the minus and the E button at the same time until the screen reads pairing. So now it says pairing. My phone now here says connect. So I'm gonna hit connect. And it says now add a device. So pretty cool. So we're gonna come here and click add at the top. And then we have several options here. So we could do infrared controller or uh, it's, it's a general technology that uses infrared signals to control devices or Bluetooth, the device must support Bluetooth discovery. So we're gonna go ahead and do Bluetooth. And we're gonna come here to Fire TV. And let's come over here to my device here. So we're gonna wake it up and we're gonna come all the way to the far right here um, and select, where is it? Controllers and Bluetooth devices. So we're gonna go Amazon, we're gonna go other Bluetooth devices, add a Bluetooth device. And right here, it's gonna show if it's gonna be discoverable or not. Down here at the at the back on the phone, I just, I'm just gonna hit complete. So let me come back here. So we're just gonna select complete right here. And it's gonna say, as the Bluetooth can only pair with one device at a time, the U2 remote will disconnect with your phone if you continue to the next step. So we're gonna hit next. And now it's it tells me some instructions here. So use the original Fire TV remote to navigate um, and then select other Bluetooth devices, add Bluetooth, select Bluetooth. So it pretty much tells you like all the instructions there. So I'm gonna hit done. And we're gonna come back here to my phone, or to my Fire TV. So there it is, it says Sofa Baton. I'm gonna hit okay. And right here it says now Fire TV. So it looks like I'm connected. Um, cool. So if, if I'm using, now I'm using this guy right here. That's pretty neat. If I hit the back button, yeah, that that's pretty nice. Amazon Fire TV remotes. Um, yeah, that's great. Now, the other thing here, while I, I hit the home button, yeah, everything that I touch on this thing works pretty good. Um, the other thing I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. It says Fire TV at the top. If you have multiple devices, right, this little rocker here, you wanna move it up or down 
to switch from device to device. So fairly easy when you're doing that. Now, as far as the app goes, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. It says um, connecting, please confirm um, buttons until the screen reads pairing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, when I do this, then the phone's going to say pairing one more time, just like this. And I'm going to hit connect. And then while it's doing that, if you have other devices, it will give you more steps on how to do it, like infrared and all that stuff. So for some reason, it's not populating right now. But when it comes to Bluetooth device, it's pretty simple. So let's come back here to the Fire Stick. Here we go. Um, and there is the remote. So from here at the top, you do have a power button. There is like a little settings button here that doesn't do anything. If I hit the power button, um, device connected. Yeah, thank you. I know we're connected. Um, it doesn't do anything. So up, down, left, right. We'll definitely move it around. Here's this little hamburger button, the gears icon. Um, that actually doesn't do anything either, even though there is a hamburger button on this guy. Now there is an info button here. Let me, I'm kind of curious if I do the info button on maybe the Nutty Professor or anything like that. No, it's not going to do anything either. So if I hit the home button, there it is. It does have a volume up and down button. So I'm guessing you're going to have to uh, connect it to your TV. Um, the back button does work on this thing. It'll shoot back. The mute button, again, you're going to have to hook that up to your TV. It does have a pause play button and forward, back, plus, stop. Um, it has your different color buttons here towards the bottom and then number options here. So not bad at all. So there you go. Super simple, super easy to use. If you guys have any questions on that one, let me know. I'm going to do another video on how to troubleshoot, how to fix that app if it gets stuck on that screen. But yeah, everything on here works pretty good. If I, if I click on whatever I want, it's pretty simple there. So yeah. Keep all that in mind when you guys are using this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have tested any of this stuff. You can connect so many devices on this thing um, and you can just move it all over the house and everything. So yeah, it's great. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If there's any questions with this device, leave me a comment below. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.